Hi, Dean Crap and C2 Solutions here. Google recently released a little feature in Google Drive that actually has massive implications to the way it works. It's really great. It's called file deduplication. A complicated word, but basically it means file versioning. If you upload multiple files of the same name to the same folder, it'll dedupe them. It'll basically say, hey, I see there's two copies of that. I'll make versions of it. So you get a version history of the file. Now Google has been doing this for themselves and Google Docs for years, but now it now works with Microsoft Word and Excel. So if you upload different versions of the same file of Microsoft Word, you'll actually get the version history in Google. So for the classic users of Microsoft products, you can now get all these benefits in Google. It's really, really big, especially if you're like an accounting firm or a law firm and you're uploading different versions of documents all the time, you get the version control. So let's go and I'll show you how it works. I'm going to show you Google's file deduplication or basically file versioning. And I'll start with in the Google Drive in the classic world of Google Docs and how they do it and what the changes are. Okay, so this is a Google Doc and Google Docs really great in that it keeps a very detailed revision history as you do things because it saves everything so fast. So if I'm editing this and I save all that, okay, you'll see it instantly saves at the top Okay, and that's there you can see it already synchronizing through to my computer over here. Okay, um, but then if I then go and edit again, you'll see all those coming through very quickly. And if you go see revision history, you can see those revisions and changes coming through there minute by minute. And if you need, even go more detailed revisions down here and get a, a more granular breakdown over time. So, a really wonderful way that you do that in Google Docs. Now, classically, Google. Um, when you uploaded a, a Microsoft Word or Excel document, it didn't keep that version history very well, but now it does. So over on my local computer here, I'm going to create a new Word document. Oh, uh, document 3. Okay, and I'm going to open that. And I'm just going to edit it with one line and then save it. Okay, and I'm going to close it. Now that'll instantly synchronize up. Here it comes, okay? And so that's already up into my Google Drive. Now typically what would happen is you'd take that and email it to someone or someone else on another computer would take it and edit it. So let's pretend we sent it to somebody else and I'm gonna open another window here and I'm gonna put it into my downloads folder, paste a copy of it and I'm gonna edit this copy. Okay, so I'm gonna open version three here and then put a line of B's in it and a line of C's in it. And then I'm gonna save it again and close it. And then what you do is you then copy that back into the network drive. So you copy that back over into your Google Drive and replace the file. Now you go, whoa, I just overwrote someone's work. What have I done? Well, the magic here is that Google is now keeping versions of this. So let's just wait for that to sync up. But now if I check this, okay, you'll see already the B's and C's are there. But if you right click and go manage versions, you've got the version history there, okay? And you can go back and then restore uh, the old version so you can download it, okay? You can also mark it keep forever. So if you definitely want to keep an old version, you go in there and keep forever, forever or you can delete them. Now, if you want to, if you've got an updated document and you want to make sure you add it into the revisions, you can upload it this way as well. So you click upload and then obviously go and pick your file and upload it that way. But I obviously copied it out of there so it's not there now. But the other way you can do it is upload it directly into the Google Drive. So say I'm back into this downloads folder it's on another computer. Actually, I'll take a copy. I'll go back. I'll take a copy again. Copy it into my downloads. I'll open that and add a line, another line into there. Jeez. Okay, save it. Now, if I now drag that directly over the Google Drive, you'll see here it detects that there's a version change so, and it gives you a little warning. This is just a new indication that the feature is enabled now. So versions stay together. So you'll see down here, you can mark it as keep a separate file. So if you did want a separate file, you can forcibly remove it from the revision history. But you'll see here it's got four versions now. Okay, so that's really great. And if I go and go 
manage versions, you'll see all those four versions there. Okay, so that's uh, version control or file deduplication using Google Drive. Really, really powerful feature. It's a small thing to introduce, but in the, in the traditional corporate world, that is a big deal. It's very expensive to try and set that stuff up. Uh, we were doing it in the, an old organization I worked in. Um, now you get it as all a part of your Google. So it really makes it very, very handy for classic Word uh, and Microsoft uh, Excel users to work seamlessly with Google as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. So we hope you like this introduction to Google's new file deduplication or file versioning feature. If you'd like more tips and tricks like this, please subscribe. you find the link below or on our website. Please like the video to give it a bit of a boost and share it with your friends and colleagues. We look forward to seeing you next time.